Well, uh, in reality, the daily flight to Chitral has been canceled for the last 32 days in a row. Whew. Well, that, that only leaves the road, the Jeep road from Peshawar to Chitral, uh, 230 miles of it. <laughs> 370 kilometers uh, 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 clear shift hug, uh, cliff hugging road uh, no guardrails uh, you know a thousand meter drops uh, yeah uh, phew, uh, if everything goes absolutely perfectly it's going to take you 16 hours to go 200 miles oh um, but more often two full days. Uh, well, fortunately, hippie adventures can go, you know, the first hundred miles by bus, okay? But then, ah, up to deer, D-I-R, deer, uh, yeah, and then you have to transfer into a four-wheel drive Jeep to get the rest of the way. Mm -hmm. Congratulations, you've made it to deer, and you're in tribal territory. Under tribal law. For example, say you're in a jeep, jeep hits a, a sheep and kills it. Mm -mm. From out of the surrounding hills come armed tribesmen to escort you to Say good morning to the chief of the tribe and pay compensation for killing their blessed animal. Yeah, it's all tribal law here. Mm -hmm. Well, yeah, from deer, mm -hmm, no more buses. And uh, to get over, you, the, the highest point is called the Lawari Pass, 3,200 meters, about 10,500 feet, uh, up and over the Hindu Raj Mountains. And up here, in this tribal area, you're not going to see any flatlander Pakistanis. I mean, deer is a remote frontier backwoods village and uh, they resent Pakistanis for ruining their former freewheeling lifestyle. Well, the very purpose of the road was to open up this frontier to uh, militarily take over, control, tax their timber. That's right. 1950, the Flatlander Pakistanis, they dynamited, dynamited their way up and over through here, made the Lawari Pass and um, into this never-before-accessed uh, region. You're a Pakistani? You think you got something important to do in deer? Gangs of kids throw stones at you. You know, the, the concept of a nation didn't really catch on around here. The Pakistanis, uh, uh, they're considered foreigners. Um, Pakistan is actually somewhere down by the Indus River, I guess, on the flatlands. I'll never visit it. Uh, to these uh, Chitrali tribes people and Patans, uh, Pakistan is Islamabad. And uh, same as in Nepal, you're hiking in remote areas of Nepal. And uh, say you're, you've just done the Everest track and you're headed back to Kathmandu, the Nepalis will say, uh, oh, you're you're going to Nepal, Kathmandu. To them, Kathmandu is Nepal. That's where the king is. That's where the 
tax collectors come out of. So the same here in Chitral. Islamabad is Pakistan. It has nothing to do with us up here in the mountains. Um, you know, if uh, you got a three Jeep convoy, you got to travel with th in a convoy because if one Jeep breaks down, <laughs> everybody gets uh, hmm, eliminated. Well, you know, the, he's... Uh, one of those Pakistani has to take a roadside pee. Look out. Bam. Hmm. Yeah. Single shot expert sniper behind a boulder. Macabre warning. Yeah. Okay. Uh, well, okay. Sometimes, you know, the only jeepable road, it becomes blocked by rock slides. It's no avalanche, uh, or one of those British manufactured Bedford lorries, uh, tips on its side. Fortunately, doesn't go over the edge, but it blocks the road completely, and so nobody can go anywhere, either direction, till they can somehow figure out how to get that flip truck out of the way. Yeah, well, maybe you're charmed and you make it up and over the lorry pass. And uh, say goodbye to deer. Uh, you'll still probably need to make an unscheduled stop before you hit Chitral Town in a. Well, it's n it's a room of a peasant's house, stone house. You'll be shivering under a, a blanket on a twine fiber bed. No mattress. Oh, there's a, there's a festival in your honor. It's called the Flea Festival. Ooh. Yeah. Ooh. The road, huh? It'd be much better to fly if you, you know, the weather would be happy. Ooh.